over the month. It's been about 10 degrees above average to this point. Enjoy it while it lasts because I'm <laughs> going to show you the seven day when the I bottom thought, I drops out. Winter out. was canceled. Uh, it's well, not? You know what? Um, just Someone just said to me, they just said, but the longer it goes like this, the shorter <laughs> I suppose, <laughs> right? season, which is not good news for everybody because a lot of folks want to get out there for gun deer season. There may actually be some tracking snow up in northern Wisconsin as gun deer season opens. But around here, we're just seeing a lot of clouds out there from our Waukesha County Tower Cam. Now, we started with some fog this morning, low-level moisture that's gradually lifted. But the sun angle at this time of year, not quite as direct and strong enough to burn off a lot of this low level moisture. So it's been a little pesky around the metro area. We've seen a few more breaks in the clouds here and there. In your weather headlines, though, get ready for the readings to rise even more. We could see 60s soon, along with sun soon as well, returning for tomorrow. And yes, I've got to say it, the first flakes are possible. We'll show you that in the seven day. Don't worry, you're not going to be shoveling, but there could be a little rain snow mix approaching us. Temperatures outside right now, either side of 50 degrees, chilly behind a little disturbance that just wiggled on by. 44 now in Beaver Dam, 45 in Watertown, also in Waukesha, near 50 degrees in Burlington, 51 degrees in Milwaukee, and 50 on the nose in Racine, and also in Sheboygan. Still in all, above average readings, but anywhere between 5 and 12 degrees below where we were yesterday at this time. So a little chillier on west winds that have begun picking up a little bit. They're not going to remain very strong, though, as we go through the day. Generally light and light through the night tonight as well. As we widen out the view, look down to our southwest. Here's some good news. 63 in Omaha, 60 Des Moines, 66 in KC. Why is that good news? Because that's where our ear is going to end up coming from. A brief bump coming our way soon. Satellite and radar combination showing a little disturbance up to our northwest. That is going to stay up to our north. We shouldn't have to worry about any precipitation from that, but some lingering clouds down here in southeastern Wisconsin. High pressure then behind that system will bring brighter skies to us soon, and future forecast bears that out. As we set future forecast, our computer model in motion, notice the clouds get out of the way, and then plenty of sun returning tomorrow into Thursday. So your storm team forecast for the balance of the day today. A few breaks in the clouds here and there, but the clouds winning out warm up to near 53. For tonight, we'll see skies becoming mainly clear but some patchy fog developing and temperatures dipping down to a mild 38 degrees. Then for tomorrow expect to see patchy fog early skies becoming sunny eventually and warmer up to near 57 degrees. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. Get ready for even toastier temperatures breezy and very warm on Thursday up to near 64 degrees. Then as we head toward Friday I think we're going to see showers developing during the day still warm near 61. Then Behind the storm system, chillier air comes in, and we could see the first flakes of the season on Saturday, much colder. Look at this. We go from 61 on Friday to 40 degrees on Saturday with a rain-snow mix. Again, wouldn't look for any accumulation, but we could see some big, fat flakes flying from the sky. And then the high temperature on Sunday, Vinny, mm. 38 degrees. Will you be entertaining complaints at that time? Then? Absolutely. All right, I'll save Bring them for the on. weekend. <laughs> All right, Scott, thank you.